Welcome back Nephilims. Today's video is going to show you how the Frenzy Barb handles at a GR100. As always, if you're new around here, don't forget to hit the sub button and tickle that bell. We're getting new subs day by day. Thank you very much guys, it does mean a lot. I have been deliberating over what content to focus on, uh, whether that's build guides or more push videos, or even a seasonal hardcore character. <laughs> if I did one of those, I definitely wouldn't recommend the Frenzy Barb as you're about to see. So just drop a comment on what content you would like to see and smash a like just to let me know that this content was useful. Thank you very much. Now as for the gear, what we've got is again running the uh, Horde of the 90 Savages. I've got an Ancient Azure Wrath. Uh, I'm going to be running the Cold Variant. Uh, I've got the Oath Keeper. Um, again, the full guide to this, sort of a not so perfect guide just to get you started. Uh, I'll put a card in this for you now. I've got a convention of elements, but my Bane of the Trap is ranked 103. Uh, my Bane of the Stricken is ranked 100. And my Simpl Simplicity Strength is ranked 92. Uh, my Undisputed Champion has only got a 343% damage, which is absolute crap. Uh, but I'm just going to run and show you how I've done a, a GR100. So, let's just jump in. So, when you jump in, make sure you throw out your War Cry. Uh, get the Wrath of Berserker, if you Battle Rage, make sure you've got all your buffs up straight away because this build is very squidgy. You're going to get more um, health back per hit uh, as per the Frenzy build. But yeah, it's it's really squidgy though because uh, Wrath of Berserker is not up all the time. Uh, there's no way of getting cooldown into this build really to keep Wrath of Berserker up uh, at a full time sort of speed. Um, yeah, but it melts elites, right? I've got a Bane of the Stricken in. Um, it's not a very good grouping build, so maybe I might change out my Furious Charge with a with a Stomp just to try and group people together. But area damage is not really what this build's about. Um, so as we started going through this rift, it was pretty slow, not very dense. Had an elite early on, which is a great start. But yeah, moving forward, again, you've got to be very careful of your health just dropping in an instant because uh, it's quite hard to get your skills back up you always have to make sure battle rage and war cry is up at all times throw a threatening shout every chance you get as soon as wrath of berserk is up pop it again and then away you go get your 10 frenzy stacks going don't forget to hit your furious charge or something like that you could have your ground stomp or something like that uh, that procs band of might just to make sure you get like 80% reduced damage So we're moving through this now at a fairly good rate. Um, what I, my advice would be is don't bother with trash. Just elite hunt. Uh, that'll be the best way forward for this. Um, this is saying it in retrospect, obviously. Uh, it, it's been a good... It's a good elite killer. Uh, but it's very... You'll see that, you know, you get stuck in the crowds and the trash. Just get to an elite, kill the elite, move on. Remember, don't fight the enemy in their pool. Uh, so this had a lot of fire damage. And uh, I keep on hit with the lightning. There's fire damage from the elite. You got the enchantresses throwing their, their orbs. Uh, they're never good. Uh, you have to try and manage that a little bit better. Uh, and if you saw my whirlwind build uh, and my 100 GR rift, I say the same thing. It's not the strongest part of my play right now, and it's something I've got to hone in if I want to move to 110, 120, uh, and onwards. So 
So, getting the Conjuring Pylon obviously helps. Uh, it did in this particular instance. It managed to get me through this restless level. With the Whirlwind Barb, sometimes it's not best to take them because uh, you'll end up killing them before for your cooldown. Um, you'll kill them before you get to use your cooldown, I should say, or use your skill on for your cooldown. But in this instance, for Frenzy, I would advise taking it because it, it just helps uh, speed through the rift. And you know, I'm killing trash fairly easily now. Maybe I could probably jump up a couple of levels, but right now, without any augments or only one augment, uh, 100 is probably my limit on a Frenzy Barb right now. Again, without Wrath of Berserker up, you are incredibly susceptible to damage, so you have to keep moving. It's not what I'm doing here. So do as I say, not as I do. Uh, keep moving away from the Elite's actual damage radius, and then just run in, ba -ba 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 -ba, 10 Frenzy stacks. And yeah, that 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 was a mistake. That that sucked. Uh, pretty funny though, it was a good part. <laughs> yeah probably should have refilmed this but no I'm going ahead with it this is the rift I chose to do um, here good density uh, I come across a couple of elites in a second and it all goes peak top so keep an eye out for that so now this is your enemy right now. I died. First death. Um, there's two elites. Lots of area damage being done by them. You know, there's poison. There's fire. What I didn't do is wait for Wrath Berserker to come up. I thought I'd jump in. There's an arcane now as well from the other elite pack. So this was a mistake. I should have gone killed Trash. I started to do it. Thought, yes, I could get away with it. Uh, got my Wrath of Berserker back before I jumped in. What I should have done is started pulling them out one by one rather than trying to jump back in and fight everybody again. So I do it a little bit now, uh, but I forgot to pop Wrath of Berserker. Pop Wrath of Berserker, now I can start fighting these elites off a little bit better. But again, there's ice, there's fire, there's arcade, there's electric. Everything they threw at me, they could have thrown at me at this point. So, this happens. This is the problem with my build right now. I need more survivability. Maybe I'll chuck a couple of uh, diamonds in there, uh, in the pants as well. But now I've got rid of one elite, I can then start moving through to get through to the next elite. What I love about doing these videos is I get to critique and understand where I'm going wrong myself. Uh, so if this is helping you out, don't forget to hit that sub button. Hit the like to make sure I know that this content is worth your time as well as mine. Uh, here I die again. I just stood in their poison. There was no reason for me to be there. I should have moved away, should have drawn them out, and just done things properly. Uh, but, you know, I wanted to try and get the Frenzy Bar build out to show what you guys could do with the guide. And actually just really show how powerful this build is. And again, not so perfect build scenario. I know I have a couple of Ancients, but it's nowhere near what, uh, what it could be. Right, um, you know, primals, etc., all augments, but it's still a strong build. I mean, I've managed to do two characters now on level 100, that's a pretty good achievement for me. Um, I've managed to get my whirlwind barb now up to a 110. I'll probably release another video when I hit around 115, 120. Uh, I'm a little bit off that now, I only just managed to get a 110. But the main advice for this guy, this build, uh, is to attack elites go elite hunting don't bother with trash unless you've got enough trash or if you've got some sort of support with you maybe like a z mug with you maybe that would probably benefit it again don't fight blind this was ridiculous why am i doing that i have a shield but if i didn't i would have died instantly uh in my follower i do have an oculus ring that's uh, an oculus ring that's why you're seeing uh the ring pop up now and again because my follow my templar has one but again, you're going to see now, stuck in trash, just need to get through this as quick as possible. And then you're going to see what the RGK is like, the Rift Guardian kill. Um, this build's incredibly strong for that. Um, so yeah, once we get our Rift Guardian up, it is just very much 
Stun. Bu -bu 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 -bu. <laughs> just keep hitting them. Keep hitting them. And as you can see, the health just, just drops instantly. And as soon as you get them under 40%, it's game over for them. So there you have it, ladies and gents. That is a GR100 for the Frenzy Bar build. Uh, again, if you do like this content, make sure you hit a like, write a comment below. Uh, I'm going to try and push as much content out for Season 20 as I can. If you want me to do a seasonal character, let me know. But my name is DB. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you all again soon.